Happy Easter, everyone! Today is a day Jesus has risen. He is not dead, but alive in heaven. Say it with me Jesus is alive. When Jesus was crucified and he died on the cross, the disciples were shocked and afraid. They thought Jesus was God's promised Savior. When Jesus was alive, he even told them that he would die and come back to life. But the disciples didn't understand at that time. Listen carefully for four proofs today that Jesus really did what he said he would come to do. When the hateful and religious, le、uh, religious leaders planned to have Jesus killed, they falsely accused him of being a criminal. Even though Jesus had done nothing wrong, he was nailed to a cross and he died. Some of the followers, including Nicodemus, buried Jesus' body in a tomb. They put a huge stone in front of the opening, and early on the morning on the third day after Jesus died, Two women who were his followers came to Jesus' tomb. Suddenly, there was a great earthquake. An angel from heaven came and rolled back the stone from the opening and sat on top of it. The Bible says the angel's appearance was like lightning, and his clothes were as white as snow. The women were afraid, but the angel told them to not be afraid, that Jesus had risen from the dead. Proof number one Jesus said he would come alive again. The angel told the woman to tell the disciples that Jesus is alive. The woman keep, couldn't keep such、um, great news to themselves. They ran to tell their friends about what had happened. The tomb was empty, no body, no bones, just an empty burial cloth. Proof number two the tomb is empty. That same day, Two of Jesus' followers were traveling to a town named、um, Emmaus. They were talking about all that, that had happened about Jesus dying and about Jesus、um, resurrecting. While they were talking, a stranger began to walk with them. This stranger was Jesus. He asked, What are you talking about? They were surprised. You must be the only person who hasn't heard about all that's happened. They told him Jesus had died, but that morning, some woman reported that Jesus was actually alive. It was all so confusing. Then the stranger started talking to them about things that were written hundreds of years ago. He started way back in the Old Testament. Proof number three the Old Testament said the Savior would die and rise again. God's true word said these things would happen, and they did. You can trust the Bible to always tell the truth about everything, including that Jesus、um, died and came alive again. Eventually, all of Jesus' closest followers and his disciples saw Jesus alive in person. They not only saw him, but ate with him and touched him. He was truly alive. Later, many more people saw Jesus alive. If just one or two people saw Jesus, they, some might think that they were lying or imagining things, but the Bible says over 500 people saw Jesus at the same time. All those people couldn't be lying or seeing things. Proof number four there were hundreds of eyewitnesses. Forty days after Jesus' resurrection, after hundreds of people had seen him alive, Jesus led his disciples out to a town called Bethany and reminded them that he would send them a helper. The helper is God, the Holy Spirit. Jesus gave them another promise. He told them the Holy Spirit would give them power and they should tell everyone in the whole world about the good news of Jesus. Jesus is telling us this message too. We have the Holy Spirit in ourselves and we have the power to tell the whole world about the good news of Jesus. Then, something else amazing happened. Jesus' feet left the ground and he began going up in the air higher and higher until he finally disappeared into a cloud. While the disciples were still looking up at the sky, two angels came and said, Why are you standing around looking at the sky? Jesus, who went back to heaven, will be coming back、um, in the same way that he went. Just as Jesus said he would rise from the dead, he will also promise he will come back someday to take those who have believed in him to be with him forever. Our bodies will be resurrected and we will live forever in heaven. Jesus' resurrection is the best news ever. In this book, Journey to the Cross, the author, Paul David Tripp, writes, Know that today, that no matter what you are going through, because of the grace of the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus, your life story h a v e now been absorbed into his great story of victory over all that sin has broken. Because of what Jesus has done, 
you can rest in knowing the glorious way your story will end. In fact, because of the grace of Jesus, the end of your story is that it has no end.